Hi, and welcome to another episode of Around the Neighborhood with me, Scott McMahon, your local real estate professional. And today we're in West Lynn, actually the historic Willamette District, because it's a special event put on by the West Lynn Historical Society called the Lamplight Tour. So we're going to go back in time to 1922, which is why I'm dressed up in the uh, vintage fair. The interesting thing about this tour, it always sells out every year. It only takes place one day of the year. And normally there are like groups from out of state that buy bulks of tickets. So a lot of the local residents don't even get an opportunity to do this tour. And they blocked off a good portion of the historic Willamette district to transport all the guests on this tour so to make it feel like it was 1922. But before we get a glimpse of the special event, let's take a look at what makes West Lynn so special. West Lynn is located in the southern suburbs of the Portland metro area, just across the river from Oregon City. With just over 26,000 residents, West Lynn is home to one of the best school districts in the state. It offers numerous parks, river access, dining and shopping throughout the neighborhoods, including its charming historic district. The prices for single-family homes range anywhere from $200,000 to $2 million. For the past few years, the median home price has been increasing beyond $525,000. And this is what's really cool because it's called the Lamplight Tour. So it will get darker uh, later tonight on the later tours. I signed up for the early ones so I can get as much sunlight as possible. But as you're seeing, they've got all these little lamp lights set up all along the streets here. Pamphlets, pamphlets, yes. medical pamphlets, all sorts of cures, conditions, and ailments fixed this weekend in Portland, the 27th, 28th, and 29th. Now, I was here last year. Same guy was peddling the same kind of potions. Potions? Excuse me, sir. <laughs> <laughs> probably going on in Willamette back then, like this beautiful horse. So what was going on back in 1922? You know, the cops are looking for some kids. They're wondering why they're not working probably in the factory me. today. Well, I'm homeless. I, I took a day. Well, they're harassing me. They're rich girls and they're harassing me. No! Well, she's laughing her because she's a younger sibling. Um, I'm trying to give them cookies. Do you guys want cookies? Oh, yeah. Follow me. She's So, board model T. The act, like the original? 1923, yeah. Okay. My grand-uncle got it in the late 40s because it was like the car he learned to drive on. Passed it to my dad, he passed it to me. You're still zooming around the streets like, <laughs> yeah, we saw you guys. Ooh. Yeah, I know. Well, at this point, they said do it because they wanted to make sure the horses were used to it. Um, I got to it, it's just fun to be able to do it. This is, I, I didn't know you had to do this. Today, we are celebrating the completion of this stupendous bridge linking the two cities of Oregon City and West Lynn, as well as the wedding of these two fine, upstanding youngsters from Oregon City. Or West Lynn. <laughs> so we just saw in the scene over there uh, a reimagining of two mayors from Oregon City and West Lynn coming together and talking about the bridge that eventually got built in 1926. So, yes, who would have known? It was like $100,000 to make that bridge. I am a doctor of hope. And did you know that we are on the breakthrough of a scientific discovery that will dwarf all others before it? Oh, I know. Yes. And I invite you to learn about it at a free lecture in Portland this upcoming weekend. <laughs> I would say Sydney's been struggling with adding a new addition to our brood, but he's been a good sport and taking mighty fine care of us. Well, how can something so small go through so many cloth diapers in one day? <laughs> So in that last scene we saw with the doctor, his name was Dr. McLean, which is interesting because a few episodes I did, I did an episode on the McLean house 
uh, down by the base of the Willamette River. And um, I messed up because I kept pronouncing it McLean, McLean. And I was told via social media in the comment section that it's pronounced McLean. And lo and behold, in this tour, you find out that's Dr. McLean. And he mentions that he's building a house here in West Lynn with his family. And uh, it's a little, you know, nod to the actual home and you know get a chance to check out that other episode i made and i'll leave the links below uh, this video for that one Well, George, it certainly looks like you did all right this year with all those blue ribbons. And now that my very own new son-in-law just happens to be on the board of the committee for the next year's fair, thought you might give me a few hints on how I might even win more awards next year. If there's anything I enjoy better, it's, it's to prove myself. Isn't that right, dear? Yes, dear. Well, Mr. DeBach, haven't you won all the awards over the years? Come on in, Paul. Glad you could come. So good to see you. We're here because we'd like to see a man without a horse. You know, a little something to wet the whistle. So you saw a scene there with the old bootleggers. Um, you know, that was probably a thing back here. It had to be. And obviously the whole country was going through that in the 1920s. But look at these newsies here. And then this particular scene, you just saw a lot of the, the challenges and the growth um, that young women had to endure during the 1920s and just sort of the reimagining of sort of the topics that were talked about because this is just on the, the heels of the you know, women being able to vote across the country. Uh, so I'm sure that sort of topic you know, would have been prevalent here in Old West Lynn. I hope you had a great time in that episode and if you want to learn everything about the Westland Historical Society all their contact information is below this video as well as all my contact information is below this video if you have any questions about the real estate process in fact I offer a free video series called the secrets of the real estate process over at freesecrets.net that's at freesecrets.net thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you around the neighborhood Behind the scene footage of like what's going on. This doesn't exist in your world. So you can tell me any shenanigans going on in this neighborhood? Well, we had rumors of some bootleggers, but uh, we rousted uh, the house and it turned out that it was just a innocent family. But oh well, it's the 20s, we do what we want. I know you can rough up though. Sorry, did they? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, the real concern is why these children are not in the factories working today. This is a Saturday, they should be at work. I agree. <laughs> What's going on? Yeah. They're not going to earn their nickel for a week. It's a lot of money back there. Yeah. A nickel. It's dangerous work that they do. It's the little figures, they got to fix the loom. <laughs> Watch that. The cops are looking for this kid right here. I just yeah. saw them right there. They were looking for him. They're wondering why he's not in the factories working. Um, because I'm using futuristic technology. <gasps> Is um, from the future? <laughs> I'm the most rich. 
You're rich? Oh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Look at her, she's running away from the cops. So as you can see behind me, it's uh, one of the friends and family tour. So people that have friends and family in the show, in the event, um, get an early touring of the, um, the, the event, the exhibit. It's not an exhibit, what do you call this? Thing? The event. Medical cures for all types of ailments. <laughs> Rheumatism, scabies, bedwetting even, all can be cured. Three 